Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Libric. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty discussed topics regarding national affairs and plans and programs that enhance the national economy in order to benefit the country and its people and achieve further progress and prosperity. He added that the kingdom made a, a tremendous progress despite the challenges faced thanks to its people stressing the importance of exerting more efforts to make more achievements and provide high living standards for the people. His Majesty hailed the patriotic stances of the people and their role in serving the kingdom in various fields. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the Royal Highnesses, the continuous efforts in achieving prosperity for the kingdom and developing the government action to achieve more accomplishments in all fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister invited His Majesty the King to attend his grandson's wedding, Sheikh Khalifa bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Majesty appreciated His Royal Highness's generous invitation, wishing his grandson a happy married life. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today the Dean and Founder of the Simon Weisenthal Center and Museum of Tolerance in Los Angeles, Rabbi Marvin Hare, who is currently visiting the country. His Majesty the King noted that the people of Bahrain have always embodied the values of tolerance and respect, and that Bahrain is a land of moderation that is connected with all the world's cultures and religions. He expressed pride in the Bahraini U.S. historic ties that, that date back to more than 120 years highlighting the friendly relations between the people of the two countries. His Majesty the King also hailed the efforts of the Bahrain Federation of Expatriate Association and its tours in Europe and America with the participation of government, religious and non-government organizations to promote Bahrain as a country of tolerance and coexistence among all religions and cultures. His Majesty reviewed with the American rabbi issues that contribute to enhancing the culture of tolerance among followers of divine religions and rejection of extremism and a fanaticism, wishing the rabbi continued success. For his part, Tahir expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, describing him as a leader of tolerance and Bahrain as a role model of tolerance among people and religions. He added that Bahrain brings together all people without segregation in a tolerant or tolerant, loving and united society thanks to the directives of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa deputized Bahrain Defense Force BDF's Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa to attend today at the Royal Guard Headquarters, the honoring ceremony of the BDF's Special Duty Force 9, who are taking part in Operation Restoring Hope in Yemen along with the Saudi-led Arab Coalition Forces. The ceremony is held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Upon his arrival, the BDF Commander-in-Chief was received by the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed Al Jalahma, the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagr Al Naimi, Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Royal Guard Special Force Commander, His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The national anthem was played, and then the BDF Commander in Chief inspected the Guards of Honor.
His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser delivered the following speech. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Chief Minister of the Army of the Defense of Bahrain, the Chiefs of the Army and the Chiefs of the Army, the Chiefs of the Army, Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. سيدي أغتنم هذه الفرصة بحضور نخبة من أبطال ورجال مملكة البحرين أن يخاطبكم من القلب إلى القلب سيدي نرجع إلى هذه الأيام التي قمتم بتأسيس وبناء قوة دفاع مملكة البحرين معية مع سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة حفظه الله وأيده بدأت قوة الدفاع منذ أعوام بهذه الروح وبهذه النزعة وبنفس الروح وبنفس الاندفاع وبنخبة من الرجال الأولين والآخرين والكثير من أبنائهم يقفون في ميادين الشرف معنا فسيدي الآن ولله الحمد هذه هي الدفعة التاسعة منذ أن دخلنا معركة اليمن نصرة لأخواننا في اليمن ودفاعا عن الدين والحق ودفاعا عن أشرف بقاع الأرض المملكة العربية السعودية معية أخواننا في دولة الإمارات ضمن التحالف العربي والإسلامي ولله الحمد وفقنا الله في جميع ما أوكل لنا من مهمات وهؤلاء الرجال يا سيدي نفتخر بهم ليلا ونهار نتابع أخبارهم ليلا ونهار بدعمكم اللا محدود وبتوجيهاتكم وتوفيركم لنا كل ما احتجنا وذللتم كل الصعاب وأصبحت هذه القوة رمز وأصبحت هذه القوة حديث ميادين الشرف في اليمن الحمد لله على كل حال نحن اليوم نفتخر بأن مملكة البحرين تحظى بهؤلاء الأبطال الذين هم يخلدون أسماءهم لتاريخ مملكة البحرين فالشكر موصول لهم ولأبنائهم ولأهاليهم لتحمل هذه المدة ولكن في نهاية هذا الأمر يعودون إلى أراضي مملكة البحرين أبطال ومخلدة ذكراهم فالسيدي هناك أمور كثيرة اكتسبناها في هذه اللحظة اللحمة والأخوة في أراضي المعارك الواقعية والتطوير ليس فقط بالسلاح والمعدات وإلى آخره ولكن تطوير الذات بالفكر والتكتيك وأيضا بروح الفريق الواحد يذهبون إلى قوة الواجب ويعودون أخوان أقرب من قبل يذهبون ونتوقع أن يأخذون إجازاتهم لكنهم يداومون اليوم التالي فهذا هو معنى الجندي المخلص فهذا هو معنى الحقيقي لتمرة جهودكم يا سيدي بناء قوة الدفاع لأن تلقوا رجال مثل هؤلاء يقفون أمامكم أفعالهم ترجمت كل قدراتهم وترجمت محبتهم لمملكة البحرين ولرفعة رايتنا ولله الحمد يعودون منتصرين سالمين غانمين والحمد لله أن هناك تقدم كثير في في المعارك وبإذن الله النصر غريب جدا شكرا سيدي Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed then handed medals of appreciation granted by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to a number of Special Force Nines officers and non-commissioned officers in appreciation of their patriotic efforts, professionalism and discipline on this occasion. The BDF Commander-in-Chief expressed pride in the officers, non-commissioned officers and BDF Special Duty Force personnel for participating in the Arab Coalition's operations within the Joint GCC Defense Agreement under the directives of His Majesty the King. He commended the BDF affiliates for their bravery in carrying out their noble duty. He conveyed to them the greetings and appreciation of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince.
Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, chaired today the weekly meeting where the meeting referred the Bill of Amendments of the Kingdom's Constitution and its explanatory memorandum associated with Royal Decree 7 of 2017 to the Council's Legislation and Legal Affairs Committee. The meeting affirmed that the requisite quorum to hold the session was attained. The bill was received by the Shura Council on the 22nd of February after the Council of Representatives discussed it, which was referred to Parliament by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, following his endorsement by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to amend the Kingdom of Bahrain's constitution pursuant to the provision of Articles 33C, 35A and 120 of the Kingdom's constitution. The speaker stressed the need for stronger national and regional security in order to maintain stability of the GCC countries and overcome all threats challenges in addition to combating terrorism. A Memorandum of Understanding, an MOU, was signed between the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and Temkin, the Labor Fund, as part of their mutual coordination and integration. The agreement was signed by Labor and Social Development Minister Jamil Mohamed Hamedan on behalf of the Ministry and Temkin CEO Sheikh Mohamed bin Isa Al Khalifa on behalf of Temkin in the presence of officials from both sides. The agreement aims to enhance training policies, regulations, projects for creating more added value quality job opportunities for citizens, as well as human resources development programs. The agreement also aimed to develop and implement training infrastructure projects, including a vocational stand standards apprenticeship, apprenticeship, the National Human Resources Observatory Project, and National Plan for Guidance and Vocational Trends. On this occasion, Labor and Social Development Minister and Temkin CEO stressed the importance of training caters and investing in Bahraini human resources. There has been long-standing cooperation between uh, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development and uh, Temkin, uh, and this, this agreement highlights uh, the importance of making uh, the Bahrainis, uh, Bahraini employees, the center uh, of all our programs and make sure that they are the best choice for employers. Uh, we will work to ensure through a whole host of programs that job seekers and employers have the best job opportunities, the best career uh, prospects and, and, and development uh, programs. The 2017 Bahrain International Garden Show delivered a successful four-day exhibition at the Bahrain International Convention and Exhibition Center, which featured several initiatives that contribute in strengthening the development of the agricultural sector in Bahrain. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. The 2017 Bahrain International Garden Show came to an end today, which this year was held under the theme Mini Gardens, aiming to optimize small areas in order to set up mini gardens on the basis of applicable scientific procedures. Well, we're truly very honored uh, that Peninsula Farms is uh, part of the Bahrain Garden Show. Uh, we thank Sahaba uh, Samu Amira Sabika bin Ibrahim. We thank Jalal uh, Al-Malik for the opportunities to uh, advance the agricultural sector. Peninsula Farms is proud to be the winners of the King Hamad Award for Best Agricultural Company this year. Uh, we are here at the Garden Show. We are d displaying all our products, um, vegetables and dairy products, as well as all natural soaps that we've created this year. We make handmade here in Bahrain. The agricultural sector in Bahrain is a thriving industry. It's a thriving sector. We're proud to be a part of it. Bahrain has the ability to grow everything that Bahrain needs. The show contributed to the enhancement of skills and knowledge of agriculture experts and enthusiasts through providing the ideal environment for the exchange of experiences and showcasing the latest agricultural techniques. Our products are of exceptional quality and we choose to participate in Bahrain for third year in a row, well, already th third time for us, uh, because we see that people can appreciate a quality product and uh, also they appreciate Greece as a production country. The Bahrain International Garden Show attracted many exhibitors from various countries as well as architects, consultant engineers, academics, professionals from various sectors and students of schools and universities. And I'm very happy to be here and feeling it like actually we are in the green tree with the weather and the flowers and the green, we are enjoying it. It's very interesting to see the flowers are beautiful and me as a bio student that also helps with my studies. 
The four-day event provided a boost to the agricultural sector and has had a positive impact on increasing its contribution to the national economy. It has also helped create opportunities to form partnerships between local and international organizations in this growing field. Bahrain's biggest flower, lifestyle and garden show concludes today and was a definite success bringing in leading experts and enthusiasts that contribute in achieving economical and environmental progress. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Bara Abdallah and let's start with the stocks as Bahrain All Shares Index has closed at 1,350.14 points, marking an increase of 0.83 points above the previous closing. This increase was due to the raise in the services sector and industrial sector. Results indicated that 73 equity transactions took place with a volume of 2,381,767 worth 589,742 Bahraini dinars. Investors traded mainly in the industrial sector, representing 37.44% of the total value of shares traded. 